Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm sharing insights from Anthropic on building effective and powerful AI agents. Anthropic has worked with numerous teams across industries over the past year, helping them implement large language model based agents. And they've shared some valuable lessons on what works the best in this blog article. So let's dive in. First, what are agents? According to Anthropic, the term agent can mean different things. For some, it refers to fully autonomous system that operate independently over time using tools to accomplish tasks. For other, agents follow predefined workflows. Anthropic categorizes all of these agentic system but make a key distinction. Firstly, workflows are predefined and orchestrated using code paths and agents are dynamic system where LLMs decide how to use tools and solve tasks on their own. This distinction is important because it determines how flexible or predictable your system needs to be. So when should you use agents? Anthropic suggests starting with the simplest solution possible. In many cases, a single LLM call with in-context example or retrieval might be all you need. Agents can make sense when flexibility and autonomy are required, but they come with trade-offs like higher cost and latency. If your task is well-defined, workflows are a better choice. Use agents when the task involves open-ended problems that requires decision-making and adaptation. Now let's talk about building blocks of agents. Anthropic emphasizes that the foundation is the augmented LLM. This is an LLM enhanced with additional capability like retrieval, tools and memory. For example, retrieval allows the LLM to fetch relevant information, tools enable it to perform actions, and memory lets it retain context across interactions. The key is tailoring these augmentations to your specific use case and ensuring they integrate seamlessly. Anthropic also identifies common patterns for building agentic systems, starting with simple workflows and progressing to more complex setups. First one is prompt chaining. This breaks a task into smaller steps where each step builds on the previous one. For instance, generating an outline first and then writing a document based on that. Second, routing. This classifies inputs and directs them to a specialized prompt or workflows. It's like a traffic controller for your tasks. Third, parallelization. Here, tasks are divided into subtasks that run simultaneously, or the same task is processed multiple times to get diverse outputs. Fourth, orchestrator workers. A central agent aligns or assigns tasks to smaller agents and synthesizes their results. Evaluator optimizer. One agent generates output while another evaluates and improves them in an iterative loop. So with this, Anthropic has seen real-world success with agents in areas like customer support and coding. In customer support, agents combine natural conversation with tools to retrieve data, issue refunds, or update tickets. Success is measured by a resolution that satisfies users, right? In coding, agents have evolved from simple code completion to solving complex issues autonomously, guided by automated tests and human reviews. If you're planning to build agents, Anthropic recommends starting simple. Use LLM APIs directly before turning to frameworks like Langchain or Amazon Bedrock. These frameworks simplify tasks but can add unnecessary complexity if you're not careful. Understand what's happening under the hood to avoid errors. Finally, Anthropic stresses three principles for effective agents. First, keep the design simple and intuitive. Second, make the agent's planning step transparent And the third, carefully design the interface between the agent and its tools so it knows exactly how to use them effectively. That's the gist of what Anthropic has shared in this blog article. Agents can be incredibly powerful when designed thoughtfully, but simplicity is the key. Start small, test thoroughly, and scale complexity only when it's necessary. If you found this video helpful, hit the like button, subscribe for more, and let me know in the comments what you think about these strategies. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.